Hello all, um, my name is Brooke. I'm coming to you from day 67 in quarantine. Just kidding, it's like day four. And I'm not actually in quarantine, I'm uh, just not working, so I'm trying to be responsible citizen and not go out. But anyways, um, I thought no better time than now to uh, start a YouTube channel. <laughs> so today we will be, um, well, you'll be watching. I will be doing my kind of everyday makeup routine. This varies slightly depending on the day, but uh, considering I will not be going anywhere, we are gonna keep this real light and easy, okay? I apologize if I stop looking at you and keep looking at myself because like I said, first YouTube video, I'm doing this on my phone. This will be interesting. So. We're gonna start off. Um, I already washed my face and put my SPF on even though I'm not going anywhere. But it's still good to have SPF, the window's open, so. Um, so when I'm just kind of doing nothing, um, or if I'm just like running errands around somewhere quickly, um, I usually just do my Clinique Even Better Glow Foundation. Um, this is in the shade CN40 Cream Chamoy, Camoy. I don't know, CN40. Um, this one's actually almost done, which is also kind of why I wanna, maybe it is done. Oh, no, there's a little bit left in there. Um, so yeah, I just use this. It's a really light coverage, light to like medium, I guess. Um, sorry, I need to look at myself in the mirror up here. Um, it is real dewy though, so if you don't like that real dewy look, then I don't know if you'd like this. Um, I used to hate dewy foundations well, when I was like 19, 20-ish, 20 21. Uh, I'm 25 now, but um, I used to wear Estee Lauder Double Wear every friggin' day of my life. And don't get me wrong, that's still some good shit. If I need a foundation that I know is not gonna move, and it's gonna last a long time, that that is your girl. <laughs> um, but just, you know, it's not really the vibe I'm into these days. And if I do wear it, I still tend to shear it out quite a bit. But, um, like I said with this foundation, if you're not into super glowy, you probably won't like it. I'm sure they have, I think they have one that's not like even better glow. It's just like the, I don't know. They have one I think that's like not white reflective or super dewy. Um, like I think about this, it comes in like so many shades, like so many. I'd say like at least 40. So I just shot in the dark, picked this one and it's kind of worked for me in the last year. This is my one from last year. I actually have an, a backup one already, but. Um, of course, the first uh, day I decided to do uh, a YouTube video, I have a huge zit. I usually don't get um, acne anymore <laughs> like this, but um, you know, even though we're not going anywhere, we're just gonna still kind of cover him up a bit. <laughs> um, what I use to conceal my zits, if I get any, is just the NARS um, Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I have mine in Light 2.5 Creme Brulee. And I'm not like a huge into like, considering the foundation I'm wearing is very like lighter coverage. Um, when I cover my zits and stuff, like I, I don't care if they completely go away. I like having it be my skin. Okay, so after we kind of do that, um, I used to do like my concealer next, but um, as of the past like month or so, I've really been into cream, blushes, bronzers, that sort of deal. So. Um, we're gonna wait because I just don't want any powder to get in this area while I'm putting on my cream blush and stuff. So, for bronzer every day, like the foundation will kind of change depending on what I'm doing, but the bronzer has been the same. Um, I'm using the Milk Makeup uh, Matte Bronzer in Baked. Um, I have put it straight on my face and I found that works good too, but um, I just prefer putting it on with this Real Techniques old ass stippling, stippling brush, buffing brush. 
Um, I also don't really like contour, especially like I ain't going nowhere, so. Um, the only time I will like sometimes contour is if I'm going like out to like a bar or something and I'm feeling like extra bougie. Um, but you know, I'm not feeling too bougie these days. <laughs> So yeah, this is pretty much all I've been doing. And then sometimes because I'm really into that glowy ass look, I will do like the whole W across my face to kind of give it that, oh, I was, I was in the sun, even though where I live, it's been winter for the past four months and friggin' cold. But it's fine, we're on the up and up, people, on the up and up. Um, blushes. So, I have another one, I have one for Milk that kind of started my whole uh, cream blush craze, we will call it. Um, I have the, just a little, like the smaller size in, uh, it's like their, I think it's like a lip and cheek situation. Um, this is in the color work. I believe it doesn't say on the little ones, but, um, this is what kind of started it all. It is very good. I just right now I'm in a love affair with my nude sticks. So I have two shades. I have in the nude and bareback. In the Nude is more of like a, these are both uh, matte by the way, In the Nude is more of like um, orangey, just got out of the sun, terracotta-y kind of look. And then Bareback is more of like your kind of n nude like every day, maybe your winter shade. <laughs> I've just been kind of mixing the two, um, you know, I'll just take it off the back of my hand to start. Um, I really, uh, it's taken all of me not to order more. I, I mean, I'm going to, but I'm just kind of like, hey, use, use these first. <laughs> but they're just so good. And they're Canadian, and I'm also Canadian, so I, th I think. I'm pretty sure they are. Um, but I just love their whole, I'm like I said, I'm definitely more into like minimal makeup these days. Like I'm not into super full coverage, matte, anything. And that's kind of like their whole brand is like, you know, letting your beauty shine through. Um, these are made for like your lips, eyes, and your cheeks. So I do like monochromatic looks with them all the time. Maybe I'll do that today. Um, but yeah, that's that. Um, when I'm wearing, I'm not even into high highlighter anymore because my face is already like glowy. I think I just spit, so that's gross. <laughs> So to cover my under eye circles, that's the only area I kind of like to have some coverage is my under eye. So I start with my Tarte CC Cream in light medium. Like already, just such a difference. But I still don't like saying that and like I want these to be covered. I'm still not using super full coverage concealers like Shart. <laughs> Oh no, Tarte Shave Tape. <laughs> oh, good God. Um, just because I, I find if I'm wearing like a more light um, coverage face, I don't want super full coverage under eye. Because um, then your face wears off and then you're just like left with these huge concealer marks. So, um, the concealer that I usually go to is my NARS Creamy Rating Concealer in um, Creme Brulee also. Um, I just find it's the only one that's like slightly pink. I find every concealer is so friggin yellow toned and it just, it makes my under eyes look dead. Um, so. Sometimes I'll just use my finger. I have the sponge wet, so I, I'm just gonna use that. And I just take that on my eyelid. And I just do like the mid, like where I need it. I don't do the whole big triangle situation. I just, I found that just doesn't, has never looked good on, on my skin, uh, like face shape. Um, I feel like a couple years ago, like that was all the, the rage. Um, my influences are more like um, Alana Davison, um, Sam Ravindal, uh, just girls like that who just, you know, 
I enjoy a bit of a more lighter coverage situation. That's just more like my jam. So I watch a lot of their videos. Uh, I'm just using the Real Techniques, not Real Techniques. Um, this is actually the Morphe sponge with some Laura Mercier powder, of course. And I just set my under eyes. I mostly just set my under eyes because I don't want my um, mascara to smudge. I used to have eyelash extensions for like years and I stopped getting them in like November. And I've actually loved not having them because I can like touch my face and rub my eyeballs and it's great. So I just will kind of go back over everything with like not picking up an excess product, um, just what's left over on here to kind of like blend it all back together. Um, and then I will do my eyebrows. So I might need to look in this mirror here to do these. <laughs> um, so I have pretty like dense eyebrows as it is. Like these are all mine, I have very hairy eyebrows. Um, so I've gone through it all in terms of like eyebrow products. I've used like Anastasia, like the pomade, the Brow Wiz. I've used like NYX ones. I've used like an e.l.f. pomade. Um, because I have so much hair, like it, I feel like it doesn't matter as much to me, like how products perform because I use very minimal. But um, right now I'm using the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in 4.5. And I mostly just fill in my arch like so and kind of give it a little more of like a tail but still leave it you know fairly natural and then I'll fill in um, the front a bit and then I just kind of spoolie it out because I do like the whole um, like fluffed up brow look um, oh this this is nice um, I just have to invest in maybe like some brow soap or something but also maybe not <laughs> my eyebrows have looked more like sisters than they have in forever usually this what I'm doing right now is so bad um, I've never had my eyebrows done well I've, okay that's a lie I've had them waxed when I was like 16 so that's like almost 10 years ago so I take credit for these. I just pluck them myself. Sometimes they've looked uh, better than others, I'll be honest. We're back in kind of like a good eyebrow uh, phase now. You might disagree, but that's okay. Um, and then I go in with the uh, Benefit Gimme Brow, I think also in the shade 4.5, yes. And I just kind of, I don't really know if this does much, to be honest, but I have it, so I'm going to use it. <laughs> okay, and then before I do any eye stuff, I just give my face a little spritz of mix, uh, MAC Fist Plus because it uh, feels good. <laughs> um, so maybe I'll do just like a quick little monochromatic eye situation. Um, I honestly just use my fingers. And these are the matte formula, like I said, with the uh, nude sticks, nudies. Um, they do have blushes and stuff that are not matte. And um, I've never tried them on my face, but I just, I prefer, I think, the matte formula because um, cream stuff as it is, is kind of already a little temperamental. And I just feel like you don't want like a dewy cheek. Or maybe you do. You do you. That's just, I don't want that. Um, but because these are matte and they, if you put them on your eye, they don't, um, crease. So that's a good thing about those. Um, so yeah, I just literally threw that in there with my fingers. Um, my mascaras that I've, oh, I've been using Maybelline the Rocket, um, in blackest black or whatever for like also like 10 years. Um, so I go in with this one first. This one I find is really good at kind of lengthening and separating them because it has that really fine like a rubber brush. I 
And now since I haven't had eyelashes, eyelash extensions, my eyelashes have actually come back pretty good. That was one thing I had before that I loved. I had super good eyelashes and I mean, they're still good. They were kind of getting back to where we were, but um, yeah, it definitely kind of fucked them up. <laughs> but that's to be expected. Okay, so that one kind of lengthens and then I go in with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise in black or whatever. <laughs> um, and this one I kind of used to like thicken and volumize. And now I'll just throw on a, a quick lip for the sake of throwing on a quick lip. Um, if you guys haven't tried the Morphe uh, lip liners, you should. They're like $4 and they're really good. Maybe it'll be another one of my videos with all my free time. Um, I'll do a swatch video of the ones I have. I have like 10. Um, so this is the shade Spiffy. I really like this one because it's kind of like a good contour shade so I just will kind of lightly I don't really overdraw my lips because I have such a small mouth that like it's just so obvious <laughs> um and then I just picked this up yesterday this is the new Revlon uh like they're super lustrous like glass shine lipsticks um Alanarama <laughs> Lynn Davidson made me buy one of these um she influenced that i have the shade so sleek pink which like usually this is not a color i would go for but i, I love it um they're more like they're like balms but they're like so can i say like anymore um they're super nour nourishing and um i'm not obviously into a liquid lip or anything like that these days it's all very glowy and everything so yeah that's uh pretty much it this is our uh, final look like i said very um very dewy but in this in natural lighting it looks a lot, a lot better that was not the most flattering light but um okay guys that's my first youtube video and uh we'll see you in our next quarantine day which will probably be tomorrow okay bye